All right, uh, my name is Vanessa Wililko, and I will be demonstrating how to do the European four in one weave in chainmail. So, the first thing you want to do is take a jump ring, and then you want to twist it open with two pairs of flat nose pliers. Uh, if you're right handed, it makes more sense to twist the right side towards you. If you're left handed, twist the left side towards you. The next step then is to pick up two rings, and then you're going to twist closed the first ring. And then if you haven't closed these little side rings, you just want to give them a tiny little twist. And if you hear little clicks, that means you're doing a good job. And then twist those closed. For European foreign one, the most important thing is positioning the rings. So I sort of started doing it automatically. You've got two dangling rings. And what you want to do is position them so these two sit behind the center ring. And you know you've got it positioned correctly when the center ring lines up with the curve of your thumb. The next step is to take another ring, twist it open, pick up two more rings, and then you're going to weave down through the right hand side and then come up through the back of the left hand side and close it. And then this ring might flip down but you basically want to just keep positioning this so that this new set lines up with the first set. And of course, I have to close these rings as well. And just like any weave, it tends to be a little floppy when you first get started. But if you know the pattern, you can always go back to this. And so I'll just demonstrate that again. You're going to take a new ring, twist it open, and again, making sure that this set, the front ring lines up with the curve of your thumb, and these two are sticking out sort of like mouse ears. You pick up two more rings with your pliers, and then you're going to weave down through the right hand ring, and then come up through the left hand ring, and then twist that ring closed. And then I'm just going to close these two side rings again. And so you can see I've got three rows here of European four in one. And uh, you just keep repeating that. And once you've got that technique, you can make anything from jackets to armor pieces. It's a very simple technique to do very elaborate pieces.